Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk to you guys about how to upgrade your NAS to DSM-7. It's currently in beta, public beta, and I want to show you guys how to take advantage of it. But a few things straight off the bat. First and foremost, this is a beta. It's incredibly important that you know that and that you aren't going to be jeopardizing your storage system, your links, your shares, your business, your whatever, at the risk of something that is beta. So if you are concerned, about you know how much you're going to be utilizing your system throughout this and on top of that if you're worried about jeopardizing your data for other users you can always try it out online for free you can go in and test the online demo of it it's getting quite a lot of hits at the moment but that online uh, demo there you can test out a number of the features but bear in mind it is getting hammered quite crazily currently and on top of that some of the features will be disabled so do bear in mind that although you can test it out without a NAS, it will be a slightly more limited process. Now, if, on the other hand, you want to take advantage of the beta on your system, I still make huge recommendations that you make sure you have got so many backups in place. Make sure you've got at least two backups. You should have those anyway, guys. But moreover, make sure you've got your data off that system. Because although when you do the upgrade, your data you know, will be available, it is worth highlighting, because it's an upgrade, that reversing this is no small feat. So bear in mind what we're doing here is upgrading the NAS, and that's the core DSM that's going to be on this system. So rolling it back is not going to be easy. There are ways to do this with virtual DSM that we're going to talk about in other videos, but just make sure you know what you're doing, and maybe have your data elsewhere so you can roll this back if need be. Just know that what you are doing, and make sure you read through this quite carefully, know that what you are doing is not downgradable conventionally. We were able to do a few downgrades using the private beta, but even then it was by no means smooth sailing. So just know that you are running a beta and that your system will remember these changes. And once you try to reset the system, even though your system may have arrived with 6.2, this may well uh, mean that the system is DSM-7 only. So just know, okay? And I'm going to stop going on and get straight into the meat and veg. So... I am utilizing a DS220 Plus. This is one of my lower tier backup models here. And as you can see, if we go into it, into a little bit of detail here, we can go into the control panel. We can see that I am running a uh, latest version of DSM 6.2 on this. And at the same time, we've got some data on here. We've also got, um, you know, the Plex information from our previous video where we did some editing. And inside, we've just got a single drive we've got inside here. We use for the Plex video. It's a single 4TB drive inside there, no SHR. We're just going to run with this system. So what you need to do is head over to the beta program website. Click here where it says visit the DSM Manager 7 Beta Download Center. From here, it will invite you to let the system know which NAS you're utilizing. In my case, I am running a DS220+. Plus. And again, unlike the private beta, it's worth highlighting that this has got all of the 20 plus series models inside. And this is a newer version than the DSM-7 uh, private beta. This is quite a few revisions higher, I believe, than that one. So there we go, we've got that DSM-7 there. We can go ahead and download it, or you can get the MD5 and feed that uh, line of command, uh, line of uh, URL into the NAS if you want. But I recommend downloading it privately, and when you download it locally to your system, again, it's around two to 300 megs. Uh, once you've done that, head into your Synology NAS, Go into the control panel, find the option for manual DSM update, click there, and it will ask you to find on your local computer uh, a .pat file. Make sure the .pat file is exactly the same as the system you're running. You can see some of those videos that we were going through with the previous stuff yesterday. But as you can see here, we're already uploading some of them. I'm currently downloading another um, .pat file for a test we're running where we're going to be comparing the DSMs. But... There is our DSM PAT file there, 4.1.2.2.2. We select open, and then we go with clicking OK. It will now upload this PAT file from my local PC onto the Synology NAS. It will then action the update, and the system is going to install DSM and reboot. But once again, it is warning you about the um, extra time it's going to take, but moreover, that rolling it back may take some time. So bear in mind, obviously, Time is you know, relative, how much time it's going to take based on your storage and the applications. And remember that there are a lot of applications inside DSM, a number of which moved into a new beta version. 
and those beta applications all have their own specific DSM-7 updates, not just the new apps, but some of um, the older applications to be compatible with DSM-7. So if we go ahead and click Next, it's letting us know the installation may take 20 to 40 minutes. I've already done this once prior to this video and it took about 25 minutes, so that's pretty fair, and that was on a two disc NAS system. Uh, and that was fully populated, so we're going to go ahead and click yes. And now it's going to be updating the NAS to DSM-7. Now, in the background, I already have another NAS here with DSM-7 already good to go. We've got, got it there. And this is the one we were running with a private beta. We're not going into too much detail. But as you see, the private beta and the public beta are different versions. And once this is finished uploading that DSM, you'll have access to DSM-7. Uh, do check out some of my follow-up videos coming soon where I'm going to talk about some of the key differences and some of the really interesting improvements that DSM-7 has brought to the table. Let's log out there. Let's sign out. And moreover, we are going to be looking at not only those individual applications, but I want to look also at some of that RAID improvement they talked about. But once again, make sure you've got your... Um, backups in place and while you're waiting for that DS220 plus in my case or whatever your NAS is to upgrade bear in mind that this download page not only has DSM-7 but it has lots of those individual packets and all the way down to those mobile utilities which are now accessible on the iTunes and Google Play store but my DS220 plus is uh, restarting so I'm just going to fast forward to the completion of this just to show you guys what it looks like. As you can see, the apps are being updated one by one. I made a point of making sure there weren't too many applications on this NAS. It's been one of my background backups for a while, but as you can see, it is now updated the applications, and here we are on the desktop of my DS2020+, Plus or 220+, Plus even, with this new DSM. So let's log in here immediately. And again, we're not going to be utilizing that two-stage login in yet. We've got the Authenticator video coming soon. Going to click stay signed in for now. Let's make our way into DSM 7. So we're logging in here and there is the desktop. It's given us some of the highlights. And again, today's video is more about showing you how to upgrade. There's going to be a full overview of DSM 7 very, very soon where I'm going to show you guys some of its highlights and moreover some of the differences between it and 6.2 and what to look out for. But this has been how to upgrade your NAS to DSM 7 beta. Keep yourself backed up. I know I'm being repetitious, guys. I'm well aware of it. But just make sure you're backed up, guys. All right. Click like if you've enjoyed the video. Click subscribe to learn more. And I will see you next time.